What's up guys? So, long time no see. So today we're going to talk about Hermes, the messenger of the gods. He's not only the messenger of gods, but he plays so much in our life. He is over us whenever we die. He helps us cross over to the next life. He's over commerce. But what I want to talk to today and what speak on is how Hermes helps us with communication. Athena is not one only to pray to, but Hermes as well. And Hermes is one that I pray to. When I know that I have to teach class, I pray that Hermes helps me with my language skills, that he helps me when I speak, that people understand. And he's, bus he's helped bless me with this channel as well. So if you ever need any help uh, with your speeches or just talking to people that you want to help get clear messages to people, Hermes is a good guy to pray to. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to read the Orphic Hymn to Hermes. And you'll see in the actual or Orphic Hymn that he is a God that actually helps. And he's also the friend of mankind. You'll also notice in a lot of hymns to Hermes. And if you read about Hermes that he's called the friend of mankind. So also if you're looking for a God to pray to and you haven't figured out which one that you want to first. Uh, Hermes is a good one to always begin with. Just like his Hestia is welcoming. Welcoming. Hermes is a god as well that is just as welcoming, and he, again, by so many people, is called the friend to mankind. So check out the Orphic Hymn, and like I said, use this as a prayer. If you have to give speeches, or if you even want to start a YouTube channel, or if you want to just be a better speaker, I always give a prayer and offering to Hermes, and just ask and thank him for his help. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. This is the Orphic Hymn to Hermes. Hear me, Hermes. Messenger of Zeus and son of Maya, your heart is invincible. Master of competitions and ruler of mortals. O joyful, wily one, guide, slayer of Argos. You with your winged sandals, friend of mankind, divine reveler of language of the mortals. You rejoice in gymnastic training and in skillful deceit, O priestly one. Interpreter of everything, conductor of trade, you drive our troubles away. You hold in your hands the means to obtain perfect peace. Cochrean, happy one, luck bringing, scaled rhetorician. You are an aid in our labors, a friend to mortals indeed. Brandishing the terrible weapons of speech and awesome to mankind, hear our prayers and bestow upon us life which concludes well, with adequate means of livelihood, favorable words, and long memories.